see September. Mm -hmm. How's everyone doing today? Mm -hmm. I hope well. So I'm going to pull a um, few cards out of my sexy sexy deck. And, um, and then I'll do an advice card too. Okay? So. Ooh, Aquarius. All right, ready? So what I just heard is a new cycle on love is gonna start for you. All right, if you're single, definitely you're gonna get, you're gonna find someone new. And it's gonna be amazing. Woo! Um, also, if you're like in a in a marriage or like in a relationship, try not to be too prideful. That's gonna wreak havoc in your life. <laughs> um, don't let pride get in the way. Once you drop your defenses and are a lot more, you know, I want to say open, okay? Despite all the arguing or fighting, or if you've had any kind of tips like that. You'll see a different side of your partner, okay? Let the guard down. Now, singles, this is like, woo! And anyone who's separated, I mean, you're gonna meet someone else. Freaking amazing. Different vibration from any of your past. Yeah, absolutely, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to do your reading, this is like great. Okay, let me see, <laughs> please. <gasps> Give me a card for Aquarius. Okay, this feels good. Ready? Okay. 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 <laughs> Ready? Singles. Don't cry over something that didn't work out. Because guess what? When you turn around, we got Prince Charming or Princess Charming right there for you, right in front of you, all right? Don't, and also what I'm hearing is don't bring in past relationships, and past, like don't project. By the way, if you see it, I feel like I'm seeing orbs. If you see any orbs in my video, because <laughs> I do see it a lot sometimes in my videos, which, you know, is proof that uh, my spirit guides are around. Yeah, point it out, because I'm going to do some editing, and I want to see, because I thought I just saw one or two. Anyway, um, again, don't bring in past hurts and past baggage into something new, okay? That's what I'm hearing as well. Singles. Also, again, with that Five of Cups energy, the four swords try not to um, be mindful before you react to anything okay and if you need to take a break uh, before jumping into something do it take a break but I don't think this are they even, are they taking a break yeah, it looks like she doesn't want that. So take a break. Don't don't, <laughs> don't jump into something just not to be lonely, okay? And it's not very Aquarian-like to do that, but this is just the message right now, okay? Everyone's just, you know, um, out of character right now. Emotions are high. You know, we're going through some really crazy transitions. But don't do something you don't want to do. Take a break. But focus. Focus on things that you do want, you know? Don't, don't be upset about stuff that didn't work out. Right. Next. Ooh. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, if you do decide to take a break, which is strongly advised here for singles, look at the Ten of Pentacles. You're gonna get everything you want, especially security, good health, good family life. Look at that abundance. Look, she's covered in fruit. Yeah. Now that's hot. And. Yeah. You know, again, what this, you know, the nine of wands here, like, so everything here is being, is telling you to take a break, 
all right because i don't want you to be like this nine of wands and this five of cups like you know this is projection we don't want to be on the defense you know we want to be more like clear of that clear up all the bad stuff you know like the five of cups says three cups spilt but then you gotta like kind of turn around and be like oh there's hope you know there's two cups that are full of emotion let me not focus on the bad stuff and this is saying to take a break okay from relationships because if you do wait you're gonna have everything that you possibly wish for this is gorgeous I would be covering a fruit like that no, no, that's that's hot yeah <laughs> right Married couples, married couples, or you don't be married, you know, we could do, you know, whatever you want to call it, but let's say, um, committed, um, don't focus on the bad things in a relationship, try to be mindful, don't focus on everything that's going bad, okay? This is the card of don't cry over spilled milk. Focus on the cups that are full. Focus on the things that your partner does right, okay? Take a break from the fighting, you know? Um, focus on good things. Take a break. The four is like rest, rest and rejuvenation. Take a step back, stop it with that, you know? Stop being defensive. Because once those things are fixed in this marriage or this commitment, you will have the happy home, the happy life, the security, and look at this, and the sexy, sexy adoration time that you need to bring this bond stronger than before. Okay? I mean, this is some good stuff. You know what? I'm just going to pull another card just for the hell of it. I'm going to pull it. Well, this is the moon, but singles, are we, are we, are we being bad? Are we experimenting and, 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 and like letting, unleashing our inhibitions? Hmm? Are we finding new things about ourselves? Which is great. I mean, hey, Aquarius. Um, married, maybe some of you are into this, you know, from this card, maybe you want to open up and spice up your relationship to some swinging action, you know, experimenting. This is also a mirror. You could be videotaping, you know, spicing it up, right? Anything that's fun, um, that will, you know, sex on the beach. Um, why don't we start discussing... Start discussing and exposing our true emotions and feelings. You know? Talk to each other. Communicate. This is the moon. This is stuff that we hide. This is our emotions, you know? Um, it's time to speak up. And definitely tell your partner, because they might be into it. They'd be like, oh, you know, I've always wanted to videotape or, you know. I love making. And then your partner might mirror you and go, oh, me too, but no one's speaking up or, you know, whatever will bring you guys closer together. Have some fun, sexy secrets together. That's only between you two. Nobody has to know that. It's more fun that way. I love this. Some of you might be, I'm involved with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You know, you guys gel well with the water signs. This is beautiful read so far, but the main point here, okay, is don't pick on the bad stuff. Don't project past hurts, okay, from past relationships or past things that happened in a current relationship. You know, take a break from the fighting. Take a break from all the craziness. You will have that happy home and explore and speak up what your shadow side really likes and then everything's gonna be awesome see <laughs> a ton of coins come on security good health happy home
Stable home. Money. All right. I love this. What advice do we have for Aquarius? Let's take a look. What advice do we have for Aquarius? All right. Stop right there. I'm going to do a couple of shuffles and we'll see. I've got the same thing as Cancer. This is crazy. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. This is so Aquarian. Come on. I don't think you guys have a problem doing that. But I feel like some of you have been in a situation in which you've been kind of stumped with that. Like being yourself. You know? This is not who you are. Spread your wings and go back to business. Alright? This is what you do. <laughs> this is what you do. Alright? I love this. Tell me how you all make out. Have a good night and I'll see you all next month.